You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence.com. Today we're taking a look at some stuff I just got in the mail. Uh, FedEx held onto this package for a long time, and then I had some camera issues, and so this isn't quite an unboxing, but it is a haul. So, big old haul of stuff from Galen Leather, uh, who was kind enough to send out some stuff to me. So... Uh, in here, we have a fountain pen, and this is actually what held up most of the thing. So FedEx ripped off the invoice somehow from the outside of the box, and then I had to like have them track it down, and then they had to get forms filled out because there was a fountain pen and it might have ink in it. It's a whole thing. So this is the Cognac Caveco Sport from uh, Galen Leather. Isn't this... There's a lot of protection for this pen. I mean, these pens are pretty bomb-proof anyway. And you put it in this thing with all this padding. Man. Just fine. So, this is the Kaveco Sport in Cognac, which I think is a very cool-looking color. Reminds me a little bit of iced tea, actually. I don't drink a lot of Cognac, but I do drink a lot of iced tea. And that's this color. This came with a medium nib. As we can see, huh? It's a uh, gold-colored nib. It's a steel nib, though. Nothing to worry about there. And these pens are one of the ones that sort of... I think people start out with these a lot. And in fact, I got my mom sort of back into fountain pens through the Kaveco Sport. Uh, she saw mine. She's like, oh, I really like that. And so now we have a few of these around the house. And these are really great little pens. So uh, I am psyched about this one. I'm looking forward to using a Kaveco Sport again because I haven't used one in a while. I sort of put it in the... Put it in the on the shelf and just haven't used it in a bit. Audrey's got one. Do I have it in here still? Nope. I gave it back. Uh, Audrey's got one of the new like mint green ones, and I think that's very cool. But this cognac is way up my alley. You can see here it says Galen Leather on one side, and it says Caveco Sport on the other. It's got a little gold finial there. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. No clip on this one. You can get an optional clip, but uh, I've never used them. These are a pocket or a purse pen for me. You just throw it in there and you don't worry about it because these things will take a beating. All right. So there's one thing down. The Galen pen. Here's the other thing that is a fountain pen. And I was not expecting this at all. I didn't know this existed. This is a new one on me. This is the, I'm going to say, uh, Skrix? Skrikus? Skrikus? I do not know how to say that word. S-C-R-I-K-S-S. -S. I don't know, man. This is, and I had to look it up, a fountain pen company that has been in Turkey for a very long time. It is not a new company. Uh, it uh, was, uh, let's see, they've been making pens since, looking at their site, uh, since 1964 in Istanbul. So that's pretty cool. Whole new pen company for me. And uh, similar, very similar sort of packaging. I'm going to take this guy out of here. I really like these 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 cut, you know, uh, packaging. This is this is this is good stuff. Very protective for shipping from Turkey. And this is the Skrix 419, I believe. Yep, 419 fountain pen. And uh, this is a, a pretty handsome little pen. I'm not sure about this clip design. I don't know if that's really for me. It actually kind of reminds me of a necktie. That's what we've got going on here. We have an S up here in the top. And then it's got the sort of bow tie look or uh, necktie looking thing going on here. Gold hardware. It says it's indigo. This is actually a very nice blue, I think. I would say more like cerulean or something. I don't know. And you've got this ink window here. And I opened this up and I went, this looks just like a pelican to me, I think. And so I grabbed one of Audrey's uh, 200s. And it's not a 200. Um, different, different dimensions and that sort of thing. Vaguely similar. Similar shapes, but different dimensions and such. Same kind of nib shape. Uh, and so I did a little bit of searching online. And it does look a bit like um, some of the other ones. I think the uh, Pelican M150 looks a bit like this. And I've actually read that the nib units are interchangeable. And so I went and unscrewed this guy. And uh, yeah, the nib unit unscrews. It's got a Pelican style nib unit, which is very interesting for an old Turkish company. So uh, yeah, interesting stuff. It is a piston filler, just like the Pelican is, although the piston is different. Uh, a lot of things are here like reminiscent of that pelican, uh, but uh, not uh, not exactly the same. But you can see here on the nib, there it is branded Skrikus or Skrix. One of these days I'll figure out how to say that. Uh, anyway, there you go. That's the Skrix 419. I haven't inked it up. I will uh, give that a try, and then we'll have uh, you know we'll have a review of that sometime here in the future. Okay, uh, I haven't actually opened this up. We'll get to that in a sec. 
And the last big thing is this, which is called the Everyday Book. And this is something that I saw Yusuf uh, talk about on, I think it was like a Zoom stream maybe with the um, the DC pen crew, something like that. And I was like, oh, that sounds cool, but I don't think I'd have been quite ready. So I'm glad that I have one of these to test out now. Uh, this is a leather-bound crazy horse leather journal. It has 400 pages of uh, 52 gram... Um, uh, Tomoe River paper in here. It's white. It's unlined blank paper. Uh, front and back are just, I mean, it's sort of uh, like a thin leather piece bonded to this uh, to this interior cover, which is very nice. And actually this leather is, come on, there we go. Let's focus. <laughs> is uh, already starting to pick up. I guess I started going like this a little bit just to see if I could get the, the leather to start creasing a little bit. And it does. I think this crazy horse leather is very cool. Uh, and then the inside, of course, is um, just blank bright white Tomoe River paper and then it comes with this which is a leather blotting sheet I've never used a leather blotting sheet before I think I mean you got to use this side right which is kind of you know, kind of suede -ish. I don't know I'd never thought of that but I'll give it a try one of these days and then it comes with these which are lined guide sheets which are great for blank paper because it gives you a lot of options this is two varieties of lined in uh, seven millimeter and ten millimeter lined and then this has ten millimeter and five millimeter graph uh, grids so that's pretty cool because you can put this underneath the sheet here you just do it like this and this Tomoe River is very thin so you can absolutely you can even see it on camera you can see the grids underneath which I think actually might be good for me because I kind of like the the idea of graph paper, but when you're writing on something like this, there are so many lines that I lose track of what I'm what I'm writing. But here, it might give you a nice guide for doing handwriting, and the same with the the line. I, I use more lined paper than I do grids, so that is very cool, and I think this is very pretty. Now I just have to figure out some way to uh, get myself to use this <laughs> use this notebook without being too precious about it. I tend to be really precious about uh, about nice notebooks, and uh, I need to not do that. But this is very nice. Uh, it feels good. It looks good. I think if I have something important, I mean, I just need to make, I don't know, something not important and just make myself write in it. But I think that is very nice. I think this packaging is very cool. If you're going to give this as a gift or something, it's got this sort of, whoops, didn't tuck that all the way in. Let's, uh, there we go. This is sort of magnetic, this cover right here. So cool, 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 cool. All right, let's see what's in this guy. Probably Turkish Delight if I know them. Let's see, get in here. This little gin leather pouch is, is nice. I'm definitely going to put something in here. I mean, it's, it's not leather. It's a fabric pouch. It says gin leather. All right, what do we have in here? We have a white tea refreshing towel. Well, that's fun. Oh, and Turkish coffee. What? Sugar-free Turkish coffee. All right, how about that? And Earl Grey. All right, awesome. Some Turkish Earl Grey. All kinds of drink and stuff in here. What's this? Oh, and an evil eye. I was lamenting the fact that I didn't get an evil eye uh, at the DC Pin Show. Um, Yusuf's son was going around giving evil eyes out to uh, uh, to tables and stuff, and this is supposed to be a protective charm, which is kind of, that's fun. Yeah, a little cute little glass bead thing. Neat. Anything else in here? Nope, that's it. All right, so thanks very much for watching this haul. And thank you, uh, Galen Leather and Yusuf, for sending this stuff out for review. I can't wait to give it a shot uh, and uh, do, a, do a full video on each of these things. So thank you very much. I'll see you all later. Peace out.